Nanotechnology. What is nanotechnology? Where do I learn it? It is not taught in the school. Nanotechnology is not microscopy, but it certainly is a part of the micro world. Something smaller, much smaller, tinier. In fact, over the last several years, nanotechnology has been incorporated into so many things we use and see around us. Your computer, it has those tiny chips that are made using nanotechnology and improvements are being made to it almost every day. Cosmetics, the sunscreen lotion, the talcum powder, the fairness creams, medicines and such materials of daily use have nanoparticles. The cars, bikes and aeroplanes made using lightweight but stronger materials use nanotechnology and so much more. Have you heard of atoms? Everything you see around you is made up of atoms. Our earth has 10 to the power of 9 people. That is 1 with 9 zeros. 1 cubic centimeter of air that is the size of a sugar cube has 10 to the power of 19 atoms. That is 1 and 19 zeros. This means we have a billion times more atoms in one cubic centimeter of air than the number of people living on earth. Atoms bond to form molecules. The water molecule is made up of one oxygen atom and two hydrogen atoms. So, it is called H2O. It has a particular shape because of the angle of bonding. If we replace the O atom with another atom, S, called sulfur, we get another molecule called H2S. H2S is a gas with the smell of rotten eggs. All we did was replace O with S. Simple. However, to change one water molecule to the dirty smelling hydrogen sulphide gas, we need to separate it from its surrounding molecules of air so that we can see them clearly. So, we put the water molecule in vacuum and also reduce the temperature to absolute zero. We call it zero Kelvin, which is 270 degrees cooler than frozen ice. At this temperature, the movement of atoms stops and we can easily change the atoms as desired. Great! The equipment used for this is called a scanning tunneling microscope. We can now make cluster of atoms in any desired shape we want, either by atomic manipulations or by chemistry. We can even change their properties. An insulator can be made a conductor. An opaque material can be made transparent. Take gold for example. This is an atom of gold that has been separated. We can add any number of atoms as desired. A particular combination of atoms gives a cluster and in liquid form gives out fluorescent light. Such clusters are called quantum dots. They behave in ways that we never expect. In certain conditions, they give out light of specific colors. They have unique applications in everyday life. For example, we can sense even a small bomb from a great distance with one such cluster. Another type of cluster can be used to clean drinking water. Remove pesticides, for example. They may be useful tomorrow in harvesting sunlight to generate electricity. They could be used to control automobile emissions. They can be used to diagnose and cure cancer. As you would now understand, nanotechnology has exciting applications and limitless possibilities. It is a branch of science that is very recent and 
nanotechnology professionals are already in huge demand. Almost every application from cooking to aerospace, toys to medicine, computers to construction, clothes to shipbuilding stand to benefit from this wonderful branch of science. How about learning nanotechnology in some detail?